and finally I got some clear skies, I am going to finish today the uh, Cocoon Nebula. Woohoo! Play it again! The Cocoon Nebula IC5146, it is located in the constellation of Cygnus and it is about 4,000 light years away. I am going to use my beautiful Skywatcher Quattro 10 with my opto long filters. It's time for one of my favorite moments to connect the telescope. Ooh. <laughs> Right on, Polaris. Polaris where everything starts. So I am going to do a one star alignment. I am a little bit off. So a quick one star alignment will fix this and we are going to be right on target. And I'm going to do a manual one star alignment. Very good, so that is close enough. I have my star right there where I want it. And here I am bringing my beautiful star to the center. To look for the uh, cocoon nebula which is not too far the uh, moon is out tonight so but don't worry because I have my opto long filters may have to move the um, roof a little bit it's a beautiful night it's really nice let's go to the cocoon nebula this is one of the very very exciting moments for me okay so current object Slew and go, baby, go. <laughs> now I am going to go to Shark Cap and check if we are on target. Um, here is our test photo. Boom, and we are right on it. Right here, the Cocoon Nebula. Beauty! Be sure that everything looks good. I am doing um, two minute exposures, binding two by two, and I'm going to repeat 30 times. That's an hour each. I want to do about three hours tonight. Okay, so now I am just going to check some settings that everything is good. Everything looks good. The plate solve. Auto guide. Now it's time to start uh, PHD2, my guiding software. Just go ahead and connect. We're going to loop the loop. Okay, very good. We just go back to um, Auto Guide and resume. That way we can see it right here that everything is working and here comes the colors. So everything seems to be good. I was able to capture four hours of photos in the red, green, and blue channel. And now I want to show a quick preview of uh, how these photos are looking so far. And please join me for the second part of this video, which is editing the Cocoon Nebula. 